Welcome to part number 10 of Gran Turismo 5 B Spec. God damn it, A Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the AMG Intermediate Academy. And yeah. <laughs> is there a way we can race each other at Mario Kart Wii? Uh, yeah, if you have a uh, dolphin. So I mentioned before that we're going to be using an SLS AMG for the intermediate and expert portions. Um, now, the only difference is that this one is actually tuned up, so it has a big wang on it, and it's slightly tuned up with the motor. Jason, I'm so used to playing this game on B spec that I'm so used to saying A spec. Uh, I'm not. I'm not used to saying A spec. It's foreign to me. Yeah, the big, the good old wang. So once again, Sector 1 of Nurburgring. Here we go. Am I still talking? Shut up, Rick. The confused chicane. Look at that wang. Hmm. So yeah, this thing's tuned up. Kind of like... It has like racing modifications on it and stuff from the tune shop. Not literally, not literal RM mods from GT Auto, but like racing exhaust, I believe, and maybe racing tires and stuff, so yeah. Chungus Wing. Yeah, see, unlike the 300SL, like, this is my type of car. Like, high speed, go to downforce and everything. I still have a dinner on that way. Yeah, feed a whole family on there. Right, here we go. About to get to the finish line. Nice white line. Bit late on brakes, but I think we'll be okay to get gold. Yeah, we are. We're good. Boom. Got it. Oh, yes, Jason. I completely forgot about the added downforce. Eighty-four thousand grand. Eighty-four thousand grand. Eighty-four grand. Good lord. All right. Now, now moving on to the second sector of the Nurburgring. All right. So here's sector two in the dry, and yeah, not really anything else I can say about this because we already did the beginner course, so like. Whatever other information I can provide, there's not really much to. So yeah, let's turn off TCS. <laughs> Shay, you get a lot of money. I know, right? I'm rich, bitch. All right, so can we get this done on the first attempt? Let's find out. Uh, I felt the car bottom out, but managed to save it. Uh, that's a tight line. That's a really tight line. Could have been a little bit wider, but I think we'll be okay. Still carrying some decent speed through here.
Fox and Howard. This might be a gold run. I've just been putting a lot of focus into actually getting a good time here. Because this is like one of the challenges where we have to do two attempts at with the 300 SL, but we might actually avoid that. Oh yeah, we're going to avoid that. We're going to get gold by three seconds, maybe. Yep, just about. That was a really good time. Although, probably not world record material, but no good. I'm about to be level 20 soon, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, now we move on to the third sector of the Nurburgring. Holy shit, Ender! That V16 is from... Oh wow, it's from 1950s? Holy shit. I just took a quick glance at uh, Discord. Oh yeah, Sector 3 in the dry. The goal time is a minute 44 and... That's insane, dude. And those days were frick. Oh, those were the days, yep. Hey, Sean, Burger King challenges have been going good so far. Honestly, I'm not doing them all at once. What I'm basically doing is um, one special event, then one AMG event. So, like, we did the Karting Academy, then the beginner set of events, then NASCAR School, then now we're intermediate, then Top Gear, then Advance, and then Grand Tour, then Expert. I don't want to do these all back to back to back to back. That would suck. Yeah, I mean, so far I've gotten the first two down on my first attempts. Carousel. Put on power at the exit. Hey, UFC vet, what's up, dude? Number 15, Burger King foot and lettuce. Burger King's disgusting. Maybe Burger King's better in Europe, but in the United States, it sucks. Hey, good luck on the nation's race, Arthur. Make TC Racing proud. Damn, that was really easy. I don't know. I, I think this is... I think this particular car, just like I said before, it fits my style way more than the 300 SL does. So, that's why I'm able to go these much easier than the previous beginner event. But yeah, um... In terms of Nurburgring and in video games and stuff, I mean, I've been racing on the Nurburgring since G4. And yeah, I struggled like hell around there, but... what One of the benefits of trying to get gold on I, IA15 in G4 is that you're forced to learn the track after trial and error, trial and error. Yeah, McDonald's fries are better. I don't know, here in the US, Burger King is just terrible. Alright, time for the final sector at the Nurburgring. In the intermediate section.
But here we go, first attempt. I kind of started that little intro late because I was on the phone, you know, texting. And it's like, oh shit, it started. I don't like that song, UFC. Well, I, I do, but... Dude, it gets copyright strikes so easily. You had a funny dream? What was it, UFC? A pound 99 for burger with chips. That's not that bad. Well, we call them fries here. And, you know, avoiding that whole argument like we had in the Beast Bank FGT stream. But, um, yeah, we call them fries here. That's not bad. A hot chicken sandwich? I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of the Whopper. That's about it. I just thought that was disgusting. Imagine if we failed the test. Which I don't think we will. Oh, we got it. Yeah, we would have won by a bigger margin if we, um... We didn't stop the wall like that, but hey, whatever, can't complain. Yay, we're level 20 now. <laughs> the salt came out way too fast. Good lord. Sounds like a nightmare. Someone's foot fungus? Ugh. Odd. Anyways, here's the final part of the intermediate portion of the AMG Driving Academy. Back again doing a, a whole lap around here in the dry. With track day cars around us. But this time, obviously in our souped up SLS AMG. Fast food, in, fast food here in the United States, for the most part, is really bad. I'm not saying, like, in terms of health, because it's kind of a given. Fast food is not good for you, but in terms of, like, customer service or just sanitary shit, like, fast food is just pretty bad most of the time. Okay, so, this is my fourth attempt. This isn't difficult. This isn't difficult at all, it's just that I keep screwing up. So, in my first two attempts, I crashed somewhere in like the middle section, and then in my last attempt, I spun out on the corner before the straight. That really costed me. Otherwise, I had a really easy gold in the bag. Yeah, it's not hard, it's just frustrating. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's frustrating either, it's just my own... It's just my own stupidity, that's really it. The car elimination race, the car battle royale. Well, they have to fly out of the sky, Ender, in order for that to be possible. Yeah, I'm on my Driving Force GT, Rick. Yeah, I have the music on, so I I have the music adjusted so that way it doesn't get picked up by YouTube's bot for copyright protection or whatever. It's 
slam. Wheel stand pro, yes sir. One that I was lucky enough to find at a thrift shop. Okay, I was reading chat. I wasn't paying attention. You're trying to distract me. The music doesn't really distract me. As a matter of fact, the music actually kind of helped me. R. Kelly sheet. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Jesus, Jason, I can't even imagine that. Yes, actually, Ender does have a point. In GT Sport, you can use Spotify, and it does override the music automatically, even ones in the menu. Actually, a really neat feature. Oh, you can't? Oh, well, okay. No, oh, progress report. I think this is about the same amount of progress we were making last time. Yeah, very spooky, Frank. I'm going to hell now. the in-game music too, UFC, but like the race music, not not so much. I think the GT Sport, in my opinion, well, along with GT6, has the weakest in, you know, in-race music. Bending music is always something PD will get right, but I don't know. For me, Sport and GT6 had a lot of hit or miss tracks. Tracks as in, you know, music, not race sport. All the way, all the way. We're not rallying. Can't go all the way unless we're on the rally course, Jason. Gas music for driving IRL? Yeah, my buddy Chill Gemini actually listened to my um, any music while driving. At least he posted it on Instagram. He was listening to Slow on the Uptake while cruising along on his, you know, GS300 Lexus. Yeah, Most Wanted has a really good soundtrack. You know what, Medic, you know, since you're mainly one of my Need for Speed kind of guys, the ones who joined for the Most Wanted streams and stuff, I gotta say, Carbon is a soundtrack that I really don't know much of. Apart from Hype Boys by Sway and some of the MC Dynamite songs, or Dynamite MC, or whatever he calls himself. That's about it. Everything else, I'm not too familiar with Carbon soundtrack because you don't really hear it too much. You only hear it in the cruise mode, which you don't really go cruising, or you know, cruising too much, like in the free roam. And then you hear it in the checkpoint races, which there's not really a bunch of those either. Okay, we got it. Travis Scott wants some... Oh god, I don't even like Travis Scott that much. I feel like the one catchy song he made was Antidote, and that's about it. I don't really like Antidote as like a song itself, I just kind of like the beat and just the overall like, sound to it. Not really a fan of you know, the song way too much.
Okay, we got the gold. Ooh, one ID. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. We beat the the Advent Guard. Yes, we can. The Fortnite Samsung commercial. I had never seen that. I don't want to see it either because I absolutely hate Fortnite. Hey, what's up, Ignis? The rare DTM Merc. Yep. That thing's a beauty. Hey, look, we got almost $2 million. Yay. All right, let's save the replay real quick. And move on. We'll see what we win. Really? That's sweet, UFC. I don't really like to look at the number too much, because, like... Honestly, I'll, I'll tell you later. I'm just like, uh, I get nervous. So many people here, ah! But that's really good. Thank you all for being here. So here's the thing. There's a bug in the US version of this game which doesn't display the information that you win. All you, all it shows is the bronze um, the bronze prize, which is this Nurburgring Norschleife is now available in practice in arcade mode. And that for getting silver, we win the Nurburgring four hour layout and, or for arcade mode, yeah. Oh, okay, this too. The 24-hour layout for, for arcade mode and gold trophies. What it doesn't show is that for silver, we win this car. I clicked it quickly because I want it to be kind of a surprise for you guys, I guess. Unless you saw what, what we got for gold. But for silver, we basically win a Mercedes. 190 Evolution from 1991. This thing. This thing is freaking awesome. So we're gonna go take a look at it real quick. It's not the DTM model, but it is bait. You know, it's the car that it, it's it's the road car. But still, that thing is freaking awesome. I love this car a lot. And I'm gonna quickly hit, you know, the X button. I think this car is a little bit too overkill for intermediate, but I'm not going to complain. We win the AMG Mercedes CLK GTR LM race car. Which is honestly really cool. One of the best price cars in the whole game. And I am going to be using this nice spec. I can promise you guys. The balance, yeah. But here it is. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a really good prize car. So yes, that is it for the Mercedes challenges or the AMG Driving Academy inter intermediate section. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 A Spec, we're going to be doing the Top Gear special events.